In this video, you are going to see how to create a non-uniform pattern on a solid model. You can define the positions of these uh, instances directly in a 2D sketch and providing significant control and flexibility in your design process. Let's begin the tutorial for a SOLIDWORKS sketch driven pattern feature. What is SOLIDWORKS sketch driven pattern? It allows users to create multiple instances of a features like a whole cut or boss feature or based on a sketch. So it allows the non-uniform pattern and also you can uh, define the positions using a 2D sketch. The sketch driven pattern key features are it is flexible and more control on user and efficiency of, for making complex designs. Uh, let's see an example for uh, using the solar work sketch driven feature for that. Click on new, select part okay then select any one of the plane like here top plane and make it normal to your screen okay now go to the sketch and select any one of the sketch here i am selecting the ellipse click on it and drag and uh, major and minor axis set okay then go to features select sketch apply extrude boss any one of the thickness this is just an example how to create this uh, sketch pattern so so this is how we make the solid part okay now again you have to create one uh, uh, one boss feature to create the pattern here I'm creating one hole on any one of the face I'm not creating on center just creating any one of the face and also applying extrude cut feature and also applying the draft the hole should be in draft manner so tapering applying taper uh, applying some degree 12 degree and uh, then click OK. So the hole is made. Now I want to create the holes irregular on this surface that is non uniform pattern like a pattern. So multiple holes I need to make. So I'm selecting and defining the positions with uh, the sketch points using the sketch point option. Here I'm saying sketch point. different different positions I am defining now go to the features select the drag down the linear pattern and select the sketch driven pattern and here I am selecting sketch already I selected sketch 3 and uh, reference point is centroid and uh, on the features and faces section I am selecting the extrude cut so by default I select the centroid uh, it automatically you can see the preview and click OK to make the pattern okay. if you want to select the points you can select the points of individual points you can select and apply it so that the hole can make there in the same way you can apply it to the boss any boss feature for the pattern and uh, these are the real world application of the sketch driven pattern supply some steel metal strutter layers circuit board layouts furniture designs architectural features and also the consumer products the various applications uh, you will see in the upcoming videos and thank you for watching thank you guys bye bye